So this is one of the most requested devices from you guys to, you know, to... They've been hitting me up. You've been hitting me up. Lou, where's the love for Xiaomi? We saw you did every other mix, but what about the OG? What about the originator of this style that you claim to like so much? That is the Xiaomi Mi Mix, and this is the new one, the two. 256 gigs of storage. A little personalized message. I can't exactly understand it, but I assume it's something nice. Somebody down in the comments can translate that for me. Doop. Do, 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 do. Whoa, all right, we are inside the package. I am surprised to find out it is the North American power prong. That's kind of cool. Type C on one end, the classic on the other. Ooh, some nice weight to it. A promising feel in the hand, as they like to say in the business. Oh, and a case. There's also an adapter cable, type C to mini jack, SIM card tool. We have a black one and it still says something on it here. Mix designed by Xiaomi. Would you look at that? Holy, that is a fancy looking device. This is about as elegant as it gets these days. Maximum class. You can see the camera in this location here. Mix designed by Xiaomi. Power switch as well as the volume rocker above that. The dual SIM card tray right there. On the bottom, you've simply got your type C port as well as your speaker. That is where your speaker will live. Okay, here we go. The almost bezel-less smartphone. And the front facing camera is hidden down there as well. I'm gonna do the fingerprint though. Let's do this part. Lift it a few times. So it prompts you to pick a theme right out of the gate. I'm not sure that I mind that. I think that's a good start. So the display here is 2160 by 1080. It goes brighter, there we go. That is max brightness right there. Quick toggle settings are quite a bit different than what they would be in stock Android. They've got a white backdrop here. So the reason that this back is so shiny is because that's a ceramic back. Gorilla Glass 4 on the front, Android 7.1 out of the box. It's got a Snapdragon 835, and the primary camera has a 12 megapixel sensor with an f2.0 lens. The battery is 3400 milliamp hours, and it does feature Quick Charge 3.0. Now, like other 18 by nine devices, you end up with black bars on each side. It is a pretty nice looking IPS, and of course, IPS tech has some great off-axis viewing angles. What about the speaker though? Oh. Now, many of you know I've been using that device for a while. It's hmm. right over okay, for dialogue in YouTube, that's actually louder than I expected. I do want to check it with music, of course. Oh, okay. No! You know what? It's pretty clean and it's pretty loud. Got a bit of a speaker on it. Let's see what we're working with here. Oh, wow, very quick response to tapping the shutter. Not a half bad image either. Now, generally speaking, when you have a lower megapixel count, it means greater sensitivity, at least hopefully, and you get a little bit more light in there. So that might be more useful for some people as opposed to just having more pixels. Conor McGregor as well. Let's try to frame him up real quick. You can check that one out there, Jack, as well. Tilt shift effect, a straighten effect, a quick snap mode, grid lines if you like. There's even an option here to enhance low light photos automatically. Fingerprint shutter, use the fingerprint reader as your shutter button. And you can even make adjustments to the contrast, saturation, and sharpness. And I can go in and not just change the color temperature from warm to standard and cool. Also go in and change contrast from automatic. I can increase it or I can go to a more standard, more subdued mode. In video, you can trigger time lapse or slow motion and then within the settings here you'll see i can go all the way up to 4k also so let's do that now so we are now recording some 4k video on the mix 2 so i move around here through the jungle okay grab focus Ooh, it does and of course i take a look at you guys of course jack as well the friendly jack when you trigger the selfie mode, so you simply flip your phone around like this, it'll frame you up just like as if the camera was along top. That's a bit of a selfie. Should I try the fingerprint? I feel like I haven't tried it yet. Fingerprint. Oh. It is the second I touch it. It's, I don't know, it might be the fastest. This is the fastest I've ever tried. Holy. 
It's the second you touch it. That is so satisfying. It's the fastest that I've ever tried. The build quality is, is very high end. The speaker, better than I expected. Software, not close to stock. I'm not too happy about that. Of course, you could always alter that. The fingerprint situation is a bit out of hand. You pop the case on, say goodnight to fingerprints. This is kind of soft. I don't actually don't mind this case. There is something about this particular design. Here is a rectangle. It's mostly screen. No weirdness going on. So I hope manufacturers continue to go forward with this. It is worth mentioning though that this device's converted price is a little bit expensive. It's over 500 bucks. So that's something worth considering. But I have to say my initial findings are pretty positive. This type of build in the past was something you really only expected from Samsung and possibly Apple. And now here it is in the Mi Mix 2 and other phones as well, but it's definitely here.